All right, guys, what's up? Today has been a really shitty day out all day. So today we're bringing the project inside and we're gonna do something kind of cool. All right, so if you guys know Greg, he's the guy who helped me put the engine into my car. Um, I relapsed. I recapped that. It's my friend Greg. He helped me. He just hooked me up with a pair of new headlights. If you guys know my headlights, or one of my headlights are cracked really bad in this corner right here. Like really bad, and they, those headlights are just, they're just, they're just not good at all. So, my friend Greg hooked me up with these. Um, the cool thing about these is they actually come wired, pre-wired. I can get back here for HIDs. So there's already HIDs in this, so all I gotta do is basically plug and play. So it should be pretty sick. But today we're gonna clear them up. Um, I originally wanted to bake them, open them, take, take out this, maybe paint them, some more custom. But um, maybe I'll, oh, I'm out of focus. Maybe I'll decide to do that later down the road. I'm not really sure yet. But for now we're gonna clear these. And I'm not using a kit, I'm actually going to do it like the actual way you're supposed to. Um, if you guys want to know the actual process of where I got this idea from, you can go to Chris Fix It's YouTube. If you guys don't know who Chris Fix It, you should. I'll leave a link of his video down below. He's great. Um, I don't know him personally, but I've watched YouTube. But yeah. So we're going to clear these, but the process is we're going to wet sand them. So we have sandpaper here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we have 400, 600, and then 2,000 grit sandpaper. That's what we're going to be using. Um, obviously you start with the 4,000, you know, you wet sand, then you go to the six, I mean the 4,000, I mean the four, the 400, you wet sand, and then when you're done doing that, you use the 600, then you go to the 2,000, the two and then, uh, yeah, the idea is to pretty much wet sand it, and we're going to take off basically the, the clear coat, that's why they're so hazy and yucky and gross, so you're going to wet sand it, and it's going to take off the whole clear coat, and then we're actually going to be re-clearing it with this this is just rust-oleum clear coat gloss it um if you read it it says um will bond to plastics that's good you got to make sure it bonds to plastic and you also got to make sure that it's non-yellowing and uv resistant because obviously this is going to get a lot of uh uv rays on it but this is a permanent fix other than doing like crappy like toothpaste or bug spray or those quick fix friggin you know polishers so we're going to do it the professional way or professional way who knows how it's gonna turn out. We're gonna do that for now, and then maybe down the road, we'll bake them and open them up, and then we'll clear them, and then possibly paint them, maybe retrofit something, but that's that's down the road. For now, I just wanna clear them up, get them on the car. This way, um, my headlights don't look like ass anymore. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. All right, guys, so obviously, I'm only gonna be just showing you guys on one headlight, because what I do on one headlight is obviously the same process on the other headlight. So, what I did just to start off is I did, a, I just taped this edge off. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just to help prevent me from sanding things that don't need to be sanded. And then uh, I didn't tape the bottom off just because uh, it, the glass goes all the way to the bottom. So obviously if you just sand down here, you'll be fine. I just taped at the top because has that nice weather stripping and I don't want to sand that down. Or whatever. But um, yeah, so we're going to start. We're just going to start with the uh, the 400 grit. Like I said, start with the 400 grit. We'll wet sand, make sure it's nice and wet, sand everything. Um, he said to go, when you start, do a circle motion. And then after you get it, get enough circle motions in, you start going uh, side to side. So that's going to be the process. We're just going to use his process on, on this. So we're going to start with the 400s. Then after that, we'll go to 600s. Then after that, we'll go to 2000. So that's, uh, that's going to start.
guys are all done sanding, this is basically what it looks like. Um, you can obviously see it's really caged right now, and uh, yeah, that's that's a good thing though. According to Chris Fix It, this is a good thing. So it looks really bad right now, but it's a good thing because now we just did all our sandpapers. And uh, the next step is we're going to use some rubbing alcohol, and we're going to just wipe the lens down just to make sure we get all the crapola off of it. And then uh, we're just going to clear coat it, really. We're going to spray it with the clear coat. We're going to do three, four, around three or four layers of that, and then uh, we'll see what it looks like. And hopefully we get a good job. <laughs> So fast forward like a day, actually yeah a day, fast forward a day when we sprayed the headlight, uh, when I sprayed it, I kind of fucked up and uh, I sprayed the, the clear coat on and I got a bunch of drips so don't do that, I got a bunch of drips and it kind of looked like shit and I tried to like save it and it just, it turned into a whole disaster and I just didn't film it, I was kind of frustrated so I came, I visited, revisited today after work I friggin' had to re-sand everything. Um, I got most of the stuff out. The clear coat looked like, cause it had dried or whatever. It looked like it was like cracking, like the clear coat had like so many cracks in it or whatever. But I just finished spraying it again. So I re-sanded everything and re-sprayed it. And uh, it looks it looks good. Uh, right now it's wet. Uh, I'll show you guys. So this is with the final coat on. As you can see, it's hazy because it's still wet. But um, it, looks, it looks pretty good. If you look really close, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but if you look really close, you can still see some minor cracks and some uh, where uh, where I messed up. <laughs> but um, yeah, it looks the headlight looks good so far, and uh, I'll update you guys tomorrow because you suppose let us after you spray it. I did three layers, so I did one really light, I did the second one obviously medium, and then the third one I put on heavy. So this is three coats, and then. Um, you have to let it sit for 24 hours. They say 24 hours, so just let it sit overnight, whatever the fuck. And they say you can either wet sand it or wax it or buff it, but uh, I mean, you can wet sand it after this. But I'm just gonna leave it, and then I'm gonna wax and buff the headlight, and that should make a nice uh, finish on it. But uh, yeah. So if, if you guys do this and you mess up, don't freak out, because I freaked out. And I was like, oh my God, it's ruining these headlights. Don't freak out. Resand them. It'll take a lot more time to resand them. But um, just uh, if you mess with the clear coat, let it dry. Then re do go through the process again. So wait 24 hours. Go through the whole process again. With uh, you start with four, 400 grit, 600 grit, and then 2000. That's what I did. It worked pretty good. I had to put a little more elbow grease into it, but just uh, just be patient and uh, you'll get it. It'll be good. But um, yeah, guys, I'll, I'll show you guys the finished product. But um, I'm not going to show you it on the car, I'll show you it here, because I still have a whole other headlight to do. This is only one, it took me two days so far to do one headlight, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but that's my fault, that's human error. But uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the finished product tomorrow, so you can check, actually, with the power of editing, you can check that out now. Alright guys, so fast forward another day, so in reality this job is taking me three days in total to complete. Um, <laughs> But we're up to the last step, this is what it looks like, and this is what we're gonna do. So, this is the headlight, all done. It was uh, sprayed, sanded, whatever. You could see, if you look really close, you'll see that I, 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 oh, there you go, perfect. So, I messed up the first clear coat, and I had to re-sand and re-spray, so the clear coat actually like cracked. It doesn't look bad from afar. Obviously, you can see it's like 100% better, 100 times better. It cleared up, but that was just my mistake. If you guys take more time in sanding it down, if you guys mess up and have to re-sand it, just take a little more time sanding it down. I didn't realize that until after. But this is gonna be the final step. Uh, all you wanna do is grab some uh, some car wax. Or, well, there's two things you could do. You could, at this point, you can wet sand it with like 2,000 grit sandpaper. You could do a nice wet sand and it get off like the orange peel. It's called orange peel. They get off like the orange peel and then wax it, or you could just uh, wax and buff it. I'm just gonna wax and buff it. So grab your they uh, Chris fixed his video He said grab the Canuba Canuba wax. I happen to have a whole tub of it. So it worked out perfect So I'm gonna grab this microfiber towel and uh, we're gonna wax and buff it and then I'll show you guys the final product so let's So once 
once it's uh, waxed and you buff it, this is uh, our finished product. As you can see, it's nice and clear. I'll get the other one to show you guys a before and after. But um, this is your finished product. Looks really nice, 100% better. Like I said, the uh, the cracks and stuff that you see like really up close, that's from that's from me. That's not like uh, from the actual process. You do the process correctly and not like me, then you'll end up with a better finished product. But it's my first time doing it. I think it came out good. I'm happy with it. It cleaned up really nice. But um, unless someone fucking sticks their eye like this close to it, you're not going to realize that there's uh, imperfections in there. But um, yeah, let me get the other headlight. I'll show you guys a before and after. So this is a side by side of before and after. This is what it used to look like. A little hazy, cloudy, dusty, almost greenish. And then um, this is our, this is what it looks like now. So I cleaned it up a lot. Um, this one's probably going to come out better than this one now that I understand like the spraying. But um, yeah, this is our before and after. Let's get a nice thumbnail picture here. But uh, as you can see, looks really nice. And uh, yeah. Alright guys, so the headlight is done. And yes, before I get a comment desk, why don't you just do both headlights? I, I really wanted to show you guys before and after. So I figured that was the best way to do it. Um, like I said, the first one could have came out better, but that was human error. I messed up spraying the clear coat. I had to re-sand it and then re-spray it. But um, I just, I guess I didn't sand it enough. So there's like minor imperfections, but overall it looks good. It came out good and I'm happy with it. And uh, now I'm gonna start the other one. Maybe down the road we'll open them up or some. I'm not really sure, but uh, the HID should look pretty sick and they're nice and clear. Or maybe I'll tint them. I don't know, I'm like juggling ideas with headlights, but at least we'll get rid of that cracked one and we'll have nice new headlights installed in the car. But uh, yeah guys, that's how to uh, restore your headlights. Um, but if you liked the video, you found it helpful, give this video a nice thumbs up, hit that like button please. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And if you got any questions, leave a comment. And I will see you guys in the next one.